Hello tennis guys and welcome to my channel. In this video I will talk about when it is time to restring your racket even when the strings look they are quite okay. So guys stay tuned. Yeah I mean unbelievable that I managed to, to turn that round. Tanasi was playing I mean serving unbelievable hitting his forehand huge and I don't know how I managed to, to get through it. I did, I did start playing better as the match went on. Um, and yeah, I have a big heart. So I have my Artengo TR960 Control Tour 16 by 19 in my hand. It is my favorite record. I'm using it nowadays all the time and I'm in love with the record. But in today's video I will talk about the fact that when the strings are dead it's really better to restring the racket and not to save the money because guys when you are on the court the court session the, 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 the you, you probably maybe pay for the court you use balls etc etc you just spend your lovely time and there is no reason to spoil the sensation of playing a match or just training by using a record with dead strings. It, it doesn't really pay off. So be sure to have strings in a good condition. And we will look at the signs of wear. So when the strings are worn out and they are ready to be cut out out of the racket and it exactly happened yesterday to me so yesterday i was playing my let's say sparring match with a very young guy with a junior and i was looking at the strings after a few of the shots and i was like oh man the strings are dead and i was also feeling that the control was really not there, the spin was really not there, the, the overall feel of the racket, it felt, it felt kind of unpredictable, it felt a little bit, uh, let's say, mushy, too soft, and when in the moment I looked at the strings, I knew that I have a problem, and the problem for me is that I have only one of this racket, and I'm, pl and I'm, and I'm planning to buy in the future at least one more of these rackets even though i'm sponsored by technifiber or i'm an ambassador but don't tell anyone i don't play right now with a technifiber racket because the artingo is so good so guys the first thing you need to do when you look at your strings is just how they look so uh, if they are in the straight line if the main string is coming back after you hit topspin so you need to check the snapback effect if it works and you can see when i do this for example in one of those strings in the middle the string just stays in the place it doesn't move back look at that What can I do with those strings? I can open the strings, but they don't snap back. And you can, you can actually feel how the strings are soft. Okay, so that's the first sign. And that's actually one of those biggest signs. It's, it's probably one of those signs that is just easy to spot for everyone you don't need to be expert so this is the first sign that the strings are dead and they need to be wrist and the record needs to be restrung also when you look at the string in a more detailed way when you just look at it right like i'm doing it right now so you can see that the coating for the string is a little bit covered let's say covered in in dirt and that also uh, makes the snapback 
effect more difficult because when the string is new and when you look for example at this spot where you don't hit the ball at all the string looks nice clean fresh it is shiny it is glossy but in the part where you hit the with the ball it feels dirty it looks it has a different color it looks like yeah it looks just like it was used quite a lot and also this reduces the snapback effect and moreover i'm a guy who plays let's say 50 percent during the winter on clay and the clay is very muddy it's very muddy the balls we play with they they don't look like tennis balls at all guys they look like dog balls they are dirty they are all red and heavy and muddy and this also helps the strings to let's say deteriorate deteriorate to get worse much quicker compared to uh clean when you play with clean balls on a hard court so that's another factor now the next point just slide the cross string in the middle section where you hit the ball slide it move it wow it's it, it it doesn't really work right now because the groove the groove is already there and it is very big but i will try it okay now okay so you move the cross string and then you look at the main string and you look at the groove and when you look at the groove and the groove is let's say almost in the middle of the string so there is this cut cut out uh, material there is this cut in the string that is caused by the by by the snapback effect when the main string is sliding on the cross string it just it just wears out and when you look at the groove and you feel like it is almost in half of the main string then well this string will be let's say working before it gets uh, cracked or before it breaks like maybe another one hour maybe one two hours and you don't want to have that when you go to play and play a match so you need to have a string that lasts at least let's say three four five hours just to be sure you can play with the racket more so that's another factor and the last thing is also very important is the tension the tension maintains and guys how to measure it you don't have any tools but you have this you have your mobile phone and there are several apps on the store and i'm using the android phone maybe you use iphone and you can probably find some apps that can measure the tension so i will go for my app on the hydro android phone which is called tennis tension it's a great app that really measures the tension based on the sound of the strings so i will measure it right now but first we need to fill in the specifications there are lots of specs and that's really making the app uh very useful because you can and i need to fill in the head size so this artingo head size is 630 square centimeters you can also switch on square inches so 630 square centimeters string pattern 16 by 19 thickness of the strings okay i have here a hybrid stringing i don't want to do to have it so i need to uh, switch to a single uh, stringing method but you can also measure it for hybrids which is great so string pattern 16 by 19 thickness of the strings this is the black coat 1.28 millimeters so 1.28 millimeters stringing machine i will leave it on normal there are other settings like very tight tight and so on but i don't bother with that then there is the string opening size which is important when you measure it in the center so you need to actually measure in the center of the sweet spot uh, 
the the size of the spacing spacing between the cross string and the main string and I will probably leave it on the medium on the M maybe then I can switch to the S small so the spacing is 105 or up to 120 square centimeter uh, square square millimeters so I will leave it on medium okay and then the important thing is uh, the string type which is you can choose like a heavy polyester medium polyester light polyester multi-filament average synthetic light synthetic and natural gut that's great that's great so I will go I will go on uh, I would say average polyester and maybe I will then switch to light polyester just to uh, show the difference so now it is set up so the black coat is actually quite soft I will put it here down and then I need a other tennis racket or a pencil just a pencil and what I need to do is I need to do this just grab the racket here in the throat section and do this but you need to do it in front of the mobile phone so I will do it okay so now I know the tension and it's no surprise that the tension dropped significantly during the few weeks I played with the racket so I strung the racket at 24 kilos the mains and 23 kilos the crosses now the app shows what I expected just 19 kilos so a very very soft string bed and that is also a sign of the fact that I really didn't had, have control during my match yesterday with the racket. It was really hard for me to, to play hard shots. So I tried to overspin the ball just to keep the ball in the court, which is always a problem because you can't really play flat shots, fast shots. And you always played for, uh, for, the, for the, let's say, more... Uh, the, the, the approach that you just want to keep the ball in the court you're not risking because the string bed is so soft then that if you risk then probably the ball will end uh, two meters behind the baseline and that's just wrong and I felt that yesterday that the control is not there the feel is not there and the overall confidence for the shot is not there so I played slower paced tennis and at the end of the day well it was a hard match i finished it quite well but i was struggling and that's not good so guys i hope you uh, i hope that i helped you a little bit to understand that it is important at least for the intermediate and advanced players to have i mean not always a freshly strung racket for your training session or, or match session but to have a uh, a confident string bed that uh, the snapback works, the spin works, the feel works and that you are just happy with the strings because this is just bad. So today I will restrung my Artengo racket and I can't wait to play another session with a fresh string in my racket. So guys thank you very much watch, uh, for watching if you want to add something to this topic just write me a comment you can subscribe to my channel if you are for, for the first time here and as always thank you for your comments thank you for sharing your thoughts and you can support my channel by buying me a coffee yeah the link is below in the description hitting the super things button yeah baby yep do it and of course you can also visit my art shop with the unique designs with roger serena rafa 
and Novak and you can put them almost anywhere so guys thank you for watching enjoy tennis play tennis watch tennis every time every day and don't forget to enjoy the manual bt thank you bye guys you can't be serious man you cannot be serious that ball was on the line